the kids are sleeping now. And it's finally quiet around here. I would like to share a little bit of what I wrote in my journal for you guys on this topic. And I hope that it's helpful if this is a topic that's been sparking in your heart lately. Um, making this decision like this was very big. It was very important for our children and to us. And we actually prayed almost a year discerning and asking God to give us signs. With time and prayer, he answered. And now I have met so many beautiful homeschool families. Before I didn't know anyone. I knew many faithful families, but I didn't know any homeschool families. Also, they have their kids grown up, some of them in college, others with special vocations that God has called them to. I also have met some that have little kids like me and they're just starting with that spark in their hearts and trusting God. It's quite a beautiful journey with some sacrifices, but also many rewards. I could tell you cons, but honestly, aren't there cons to other options as well? In regular schooling, there's tons of cons as well. So I would like to focus in sharing with you the pros that I've seen personally and the beauty, the freedom, not separating every day as a family, not rushing, creating deeper connections together, discovering passions, taking breaks when needed, enjoying art and nature, being able to start our days in prayer, finding more time for family in breakfast and lunch together, having meals at the table more, seeing the birds fly by. I really enjoy when we go outside in the backyard and we're with our binoculars and just trying to like, where's the bird nest, where the blue jays and the robins or a butterfly flew by. I personally never really remember uh, living that in my childhood. Um, yes, there will be tears and challenges like in everything. The first year, especially when we're like learning to adapt to this lifestyle and to each other being together and everything's so new like in everything it's gonna be a new challenge but we're all in it together and we're trusting god and we're letting go allowing him to be the leader of our homeschool days enjoying our time and growing together. I know homeschooling is not for everyone. I believe it to be a calling that God sparks in our heart. Definitely don't be afraid of that spark and follow it. Follow it and see what you discover in prayer. Prayer with your husband or on your own. Um, finding that silent time and asking for signs and see what God shows you. Wishing you much love and the best.